We're currently at the grand opening of Gideon's Bakehouse. It is currently a 12 hour wait, my friends, for a cookie. Guys, today is the day that Gideon's Bakehouse has its grand opening at Disney Springs. I'm super excited. As you all know, I did like a little review of the soft opening, but this is like the big celebration. They're gonna have like five limited edition cookies. They're doing so much. Let me do a little rundown of what they're gonna have. They're gonna be giving away a limited edition print of the gargoyle, which is also gonna have like its name on it, and they only made a thousand of those. Then they're gonna be giving away a free Gideon's gargoyle sticker. Then they're gonna have the five limited edition cookies to try. Then they're gonna be giving away free peanut butter buttercream to the first 250 customers. Customers. And they're also gonna have a brand new t-shirt that's gonna be released today. There's so much else going on. I'm super excited It's probably gonna be extremely busy, but guys, let's go. Now. It's like first thing in the morning There's never this many people here. I think they're literally all here for Gideon's. Do you see all of this? This is never like this unless it's like the holiday time. Well, good morning everyone We are about to wait a couple hours in the line for a cookie at his grand opening day of Gideon's and it is already a madhouse the Springs have been open for like a couple minutes now. Lord have mercy. The line is all the way back there. Well, we are currently currently moving the line all the way back here. I'm nervous to see how long this gets. My buddy Jordan beat me here, but he <laughs> got like the best spot ever. He is currently right here. You wait here. I'm gonna go check to see how long the line is. So it looks like if you're in line up to here, you're good. But from here, you're gonna get a return time for a virtual queue. Now, yesterday I was talking to the Gideon's cast members, and they were expecting a seven-hour wait for the store today. Okay, so now that's where I was. The line is gonna keep going all the way over here let's see now the line for just the virtual queue is all the way back to chicken guy we heard rumors earlier that it went all the way back to Zara I just heard one of the managers say it's at a six hour wait right now what the, the line is the chicken guy right now but the wait is six hours <laughs> Crazy. It's an honor to meet you. Uh, thank you. Uh, how long did it take to create that chocolate chip and the peanut butter? The, uh, the fi 15 years for the chocolate chip cookie. Okay. Not 15 years straight. I promise you I took some breaks in yeah. between. I, you know, I never meant to open up a bakery, so it was just a little side hustle, a little fun project yeah. for me personally to kind of get that cookie where I was happy. But I will tell you the peanut butter cookie took even longer really? after that because if you really think about it, peanut butter cookies all pretty much taste the same. There's like a degree yeah. here and there. And that doesn't work for me. I really wanted to be a completely different experience. So it took me an extra year of tinkering to get that peanut butter cookie to be a different, different than every other peanut butter cookie you'll have. It's amazing. Thank so you. over the next like couple years, are you gonna have different cookies, and how long are you gonna like tinker with them before you release them? So our five core cookies will always be the five core cookies. That's what the okay. Gideon's Empire was built off. Uh, but limited editions are are always popping out. That's where we have our fun and our creativity in both limited edition cookies and secret cake slices. What's your favorite limited edition one you have today? Oh, my babies, so that's that's tough. I have a least favorite today, but favorite is probably the coffee cake cookie is super special to me. That's okay. a love letter to my New York Italian family. Aww. Uh, and I love that cookie specifically with the ginger snap cold brew. Uh, just the ginger following that cinnamon is just pure magic. So that's that's where I go every morning. Like I, I, I start my day with that happy place. That's awesome. Uh, but I also really love the coffee toffee. I like coffee and cookies because I'm not a fan of sweet things I like yeah. rich things and and the coffee grounds with sugar tend to balance really nicely the coffee toffee I love I love the peanut butter chocolate swirl it's just a classic and those two doughs go really well together did you ever think starting this that there would be a seven hour wait for your cookies like what what is that like this is I, the biggest launch ever for a food product at Disney I don't know I, I have a my my personal challenge is presence I, I can't process this today it'll take me a, a few weeks ago oh yeah. that happened in the moment today it's just about how to deal with it and set expectations and and try to make everybody happy as awesome as that sounds it's a panic inducing moment for me because I want to see everyone today like my goal is to try to to make everybody that comes out for a grand opening happy but if 10,000 people show up there's that's no way so we can you can do, do yeah. that with three registers oh god so uh so that that's the kind of stuff that keeps me up at night well thank you so much and we, we love your product thank you so good it. so these are all the limited edition ones that we're going to get today coffee toffee white christmas chocolate peanut butter swirl and the frankenstein i would just love to have the lights on fully and just look at all the little easter eggs that they have on the bookshelf. This is always my favorite part, this fire that they have at the register. Got in her bag, it's time to head out now. The stress. She's holding a 12 hour wait and $50 in her hands right now. Okay, we just got out. That was awesome talking to the owner. Um, I asked him after I turned off the camera, I was like, 
did Imagineers help you design the place? He said no. It was just him and his three buddies and they like designed the whole place in three days. I'm excited to like come throughout the years and kind of uncover the story a little more. But I got every single limited edition cookie to try for y'all. Yeah, we are we are back to eat more sweet treats at Gideon's. First off, let's go through like the little special stuff that they gave us. I think here is just like a Gideon sticker. You can't see it. Nicholas Cage could probably see it with some lemon juice, but <laughs> it's there. It's the Gideon's logo and you just stick it on your car or computer or something. And then they had limited edition shirts just for today. It's got the gargoyle right there. Now this is a very rare piece. They only made a thousand of these. They're pictures of the gargoyle. And apparently they're releasing the gargoyle's name. I'm number 390 and his name is Agaba Jabba Diz. Agaba Jabba Diz. I don't know how to say that. I don't know what language that is. It's probably like a demonic, sat satanic word, maybe. Should we Google it? Agaba, Agaba Daba Diz? I don't know how to say it, but uh, let's eat the limited edition cookies now. Okay, this is like opening the Ark of the Covenant of desserts. Ooh. Okay, so here's, here's the mystery. What cookie should we grab? What do we have here? All right, so we got the White Christmas. This is the one that was sold out when I tried to go the original time, so I'm excited to try it now. Now, I think this is like a sugar cookie. There's like glitter and white chocolate chips. Our favorite part. Oh, what is in there? Is that cinnamon? I taste the white chocolate, which is good. The vanilla bean, almost like a coffee cake in it. I thought it was gonna be just straight up like sugar cookie. I don't think it's my favorite though. Now this one is the one I'm most excited about. The peanut butter like chocolate swirl. Tradition, it's like layered. I wasn't expecting that out of this one. Now my favorite cookies from Gideon's is the chocolate chip and the peanut butter. This is like if they had a baby, this cookie is 10 out of 10. This is like, again, one of those like cookie fantasies that you always dreamt about as a kid, but you never know how to make it, or nobody ever made them. There's just enough peanut butter and just enough chocolate where it like blends perfectly. Okay, on to the next one. This is a, the coffee toffee. Again, all their cookies have like a lot of salt on them, and the chocolate chips are huge on this coffee toffee. And imagine a chocolate chip cookie, an espresso, had a baby. That's what this tastes like. I'm not like a personal fan of coffee, so I'm not like crazy about this one, but if anybody likes coffee, this would be like the one to mess with. Now we're down to the last cookie. The funkiest of the bunch. The spookiest. The Frankenstein. Okay, so it just looks kind of like a bunch of M&Ms with <laughs> Oreo dust. So it's kind of like the cookies and cream one from before. We got the Oreos in the center. That one I really wasn't that big of a fan of, so let's see how this one is. I don't like that one. No. Yeah, it is Frankenstein, a failed experiment. There's some weird aftertaste going on with this one. Okay, this is how we're gonna rate the limited edition. Frankenstein bottom, the white Christmas, and then what, the coffee toffee? And then, ooh, the standout star, the soul survivor, the peanut butter swirl. I hope they keep that one around. Okay. We can't pronounce the gargoyle's name. It's not very easy to do. Do you know the secret combination of to him? Of course I do, because I, I have the protection of the gargoyle, but oh. I, I can't give it to you. Well, we're gonna have to figure it out. Yeah, that's the only way that, that the spell works if you figure it out and you say it. When we figure it out, how will we know? When we come back? My facial expression might give you the proper cue. All right, we came, we saw, we conquered Gideon's. If any of you know how to pronounce that name, let me know. But I think I'm gonna take like a little uh, sugar coma nap right now and then we'll talk about our, our day. Now guys, let's talk about Gideon's. Now, as you know, I'm very harsh on like my reviews and when I think about things and I was blown away by this place. I've been there three times now, nothing but high praise to say about it. And that's tough, cause like I'm, I'm, I consider myself like pretty, pretty critical about like food and like the theme park stuff. And they've done something I don't think anybody has ever done before. And that is being a small business, doing better than Disney. It is one of the best, I think, additions to the Disney property in a while. Now, let's start from the ground up. It's locally owned, and you can tell so much love and passion has gone into it. There's so many talented individuals, from the designers, to the artist, to the culinary team. Like, everybody cares about this product so much that they gave it 150%, and it really shows. From the time you just sign up to get your reservation or in your online, each Gideon's employee really goes out of the way to make an impact on your day, to make a connection, or to ask you about, like, what you're excited about. And normally during these times of, like, super stressful, like, openings, you just kind of like figure your way through it. But I felt like Gideon's was prepared for this. Now, one of the things I find is mind blowing is there was a 12 hour wait, which is insane. I think the longest theme park wait was I think Hagrid's and that was 10 hours and that was last year. So a 12 hour wait for a cookie is insane. Now they do have a location at like a little market in downtown Orlando. I think it's only like 20 minutes away. But the difference between that and this is the theming. You're going in for the experience. From the time you get the menu to the time you check out 
out with like the fire at the register. It's just this seamless experience. Now, Disney recently has come out with like new restaurants and new places, and honestly, they feel kind of happy because Disney just kind of like cuts the budget on everything. So the Imagineers can't have their dreams and visions come true. And I feel like the vision that Steve had for the store is exactly what was created. It's such an immersive, fun, like gothic, Tim Burton-y, Willy Wonka feel. But honestly, does anyone know how to say this name? I feel like we're gonna have to like go on a giant Easter egg hunt of like how to translate Latin or something to figure out how to pronounce this. If you know, please, please let me. No. Now they did do a soft opening earlier and I reviewed every single one of those cookies. I'll put a little tab up there. But I really enjoyed trying all the new limited edition cookies. Now the craziest thing is they're like producing thousands of cookies. I've been there multiple days and the quality hasn't slipped. Now normally with a lot of like other places, when you're pushed to the limits like that, the quality kind of goes away. They're just trying to get the product out there. It almost feels like each cookie is made in like a small amount and like just made for you. So it feels very personal to eat the cookie, if that makes sense. It's very odd. I, if you've eaten the cookie, you understand. Now each cookie is very good. There are some that I prefer a little more than others, but man, that peanut butter chocolate swirl, Ooh, I'll be having dreams about that. I'm sad that they only had these limited edition cookies just for today. But if you get a chance, I would really suggest stopping by Gideon's. I'm pretty critical about this stuff and it is worth a visit for the whole atmosphere and the product. If you haven't watched last week's video already, I spent a year and a half filming with a coconut. So if you haven't seen the video yet, please go watch it. I put a lot of hard work into it. I love you all. Please stay safe and I will see you all this Friday. Bye. You just had your first bite of a cookie. How is it? They're really good. Really good. It's amazing.